Hi, James again from the 11 Plus Tutors. Today I want to talk to you about something that does come up in the 11 Plus exam um, from time to time. It's not guaranteed, but I have definitely seen this before in papers. Distance, speed and time. Now the really nice thing about these three things is that they rely on each other, they're relational. So we will say DST and we say DST pyramid or DST triangle. So kids can remember this quite easily. So D, S, T. And what this actually means is that the bottom two multiplied, so we can say multiplied equals the top one. So speed times time equals distance. We can imagine this line being like the divide line. Distance divided by speed over speed is time. And then distance divided by time, because it's over time, is speed. Kids can really understand this. And I've been doing this with my groups all week, and kid, the vast majority of kids have got it straight away. They really, and they actually like these. They like solving these puzzles. So I'm just gonna look at some very, very simple examples just to illustrate my point. Obviously, there can be greater depth questions in the exam and extend on from this. I understand that, okay? But my objective for most of these videos is just to get a good understanding of the concept, the underlying concept. So we'll just look at simple examples. <clears throat> Number one, what is the speed if Barry drives 60 miles in two hours? So the main thing for a kid in the exam is to look at a worthy question and to identify the sum of these to be done. So here we've got a distance, so we've got this one, and we've got a time. So we know that it's distance over time we give a speed. So we do 60 divided by 2 is 30. Now the important thing to remember, and kids sometimes get confused about this, is we use the units given to us in the question. So it's 60 miles per hour. So miles per hour. Now that could be different for different questions, and I'll show you that here. But we must go by these units. Next one. Brian is driving 30 miles an hour. So we know we've got speed. How long, how long does it take to go 60 miles? So we're after time, because we want how long. So we do distance divided by speed should give us this. So the distance is 60 divided by the speed, which is 30, gives us two. And it is two hours, because that's the unit used in the question. And then last but not least, Sally is going on a four hour bike ride, so we've got time. How far does she go? We need distance if she travels at five kilometers per hour, so we've got speed. So now we know we're gonna multiply these two. So four times five is 20. But let's look at units. It's kilometers per hour. And that's the bit where people could get unstuck, you know, you're gonna make sure it's the same as the units of the question. Very simple idea here. I hope you like this. Obviously, when you find this in papers, it can get more greater depth. They can bring in other things like percentages or ratios or whatever, okay, in a greater depth second part to a question. But this is the, the key thing that kids need to understand. If you enjoyed that, I hope that you would um, like and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.